Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 6 of Civilization 6. We are playing as Gandhi, we are on Emperor difficulty. And we got off to a little bit of a slow start unfortunately because we were constantly dealing with barbarians which we had a really hard time getting our um, sort of second city out so we decided to go and attack Newcastle and take that from England. We were also going to take Leeds but unfortunately I messed up a little bit and Russia were able to sweep in there and nab it from us now. Unfortunately Russia were getting a little bit too big for their boots so what I intend to try and do if possible is to um, get Russia out of the picture. Uh, I'm a little bit concerned about this scout that I've got over here. I'm going to move him down here. I don't think the catapult can sort of kill him off. We might be able to just run away, which is kind of what the plan is going to be for the time being. That said, all we can really do now is hit end turn. We made all of our moves in the last turn. We've now got to see what the AI is going to throw at us. Now, luckily, I think Russia is still at war with England, and England still has a few units around that are causing some problems. We're now being denounced by France because she thinks we are a warmonger. So it, the game really does punish you for going to war. See, everyone's now denouncing me because I declared war on somebody. Because we declared a surprise war. Even if it wasn't a surprise war, we'd have still been denounced. It's only turn 90, and everybody's denouncing me. So... Oh, she's denouncing us because we're weak. Even though we've already taken a city from uh, England, then we're now taking on Russia. So yeah, we may lose that scout. They've got a lot of horsemen here that just came out of nowhere. Yeah, that scout's dead, unfortunately. I don't know where all of these horsemen came from. That was a lot of units. And of course, what's making it even worse now is these stupid, annoying barbarians are now actually attacking, uh, uh, attacking me from this direction. Which is... Um, not really needed. Uh, let's go ahead and try and get rid of this war chariot first because that's the big problem that we've got over here. We can get rid of that. That'll be one issue solved. Why won't you, you fire at it? Because you don't have a line of sight on it because of the hill. Well, fine. Then I guess you're firing at that guy then. You've got a promotion. We could take it to fully heal you up, but I don't think we need to do it right away. So... Let's go ahead and um, start doing some damage over here. We do want to start moving in with our melee unit. I'd be happy to just get the one city, to be honest. It's the one that I wanted originally. We've still got some problems over here with our capital's amenities. It's only minus one now. Now, you are here as a defensive unit, and I think I'm going to leave you there, to be honest. Move you south a little bit. There are still barbarians around. You're going to stay within the city. We'll go on to the next turn. See, England are fighting those chariot archers for me, which is good. We've peaced out with England anyway. Someone has built a wonder, the Madabodi Temple. And again, we've got chariot archers sort of coming back towards us. We've got barbarians all over the place as well. A barbarian might just attack the chariot archer, which would be fine. So that's England's chariot archer. We don't have to worry about that one. Let's attack that one as much as we can. Uh, let's finish off Russia's unit. And I do just want these flipping... Oh, I can't even hit it from there. So annoying, these uh, barbarians. They really, really are. So we'll just keep trying to do some damage here. It doesn't have walls, but... It still has a fair bit of combat strength. It's taking quite a beating. If we move you over there... Yeah, we'd actually get a minor defeat, so we're just going to get you to 45 for now. I just want to move around, but I don't want to stray too far with this um, archer, because it might well be needed. But I really do need to sort of keep my eye on Russia and what he's doing, because he does have a lot of units in there. So there's games of recreation done. Uh, we can send an envoy to somewhere. We're definitely building... We don't have any encampment, so that's not really all that useful. Why were we going for Kabul? I don't even remember now. Um, Scythia has three envoys with you. Uh, if we got you on side, what would you give us? Double experience from battles we initiate. I think we'll start... We'll send at least one to uh, Jerusalem and try and get the extra faith. I mean, we were going for a religious victory. I'm not necessarily certain that that is still going to um, be the way of things right now, but we'll do what we can. 
And I'm going to ignore that barbarian anyway, because it is half dead. And I'm going to have to throw everything that I've got at trying to clear out these Russian units. It's a shame that we had to uh, waste an entire attack on you. You were almost dead to begin with, but... Once we can get all of these archers dealing with the city, we'll be able to take it quite quickly, I think. So I'm not too sure where the rest of these barbarians have gone. There is a barbarian camp up there, which is something that we really need to deal with quite quickly. Delegation from Greece. That's quite nice. Always good to have a little bit of extra money. Of course, we've also got um, Egypt over here. Right, you're actually attacking my archers now. With a horse archer as well. That was rude. So now I've got to waste more turns attacking this horse archer. Um, you can't even hit the horse archer. Right, how much damage can you do to it? Quite a bit. If we move you in there, you can finish it off. And you're just going to keep attacking the city for now. We know that Russia has a lot of horsemen over there somewhere, so we don't want to uh, stray out too far. Yeah, I think you're just going to come back around here. We are going to need to move east and clear that camp out at some point. Oh, brilliant. England's killing the barbarian off for us. Fantastic. Before we pillage the farm as well. So at least we'll have three cities. They're not great cities, but we'll have uh, a source of dyes and a source of cotton. So we will want to get a, a worker out as soon as possible. Now the good thing that we have now is we have more units that can move in and attack the city. Um, you can't attack. Can you reach it from there? Yes, you can reach it from there. Fantastic. There we go. So we should have that within a turn or two. I don't want to risk getting my worker out just yet. Not with... Uh, ah, scout. Not with Russia still having a lot of units over here in the fog. We might even need to try and take Yerevan. Just, I mean, they're, they're, they're already taking quite a lot of city-states and things like that. See, we've got ho horses uh, moving in now as well. Unfortunately, you are out of range and we don't have walls over here. So that unit may well move in and try and be a bother. So we do want to try and weaken up these warriors where we can. You're too far back to actually hit anything other than the city, so you might as well attack the city. You can't reach those warriors either, so you'll just attack the city. And um, I could go ahead and give you your um, promotion, but I don't think we will, because we might be able to take the city. No, unfortunately not on this turn. We could kill you off, though. Still a little bit worried about that horseman, but... And let's just start sending one unit over towards that barbarian camp. We'll, we'll do it slowly, in case we do run into anything. Okay, so you've got a few more units close by, which I don't really like. But we'll see if we can take the city, because that'll instantly get rid of one warrior. You can only reach the city anyway, so you take the shot. See, we can always go ahead and take Yerevan in a subsequent war. Right, the city will definitely be ours if we do this. You tread on dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colonies. Yeah, but it ain't your city. Goodbye. Captured a unit, so we've got a free settler now as well, which is nice. Keep city. Um, so we can actually um, liberate it to England. Pre severe reduction in previous earned warmonger penalties, but we are going to keep it. We were going to take it ourselves anyway. Do we want to try and go for Yerevan now is the question. And I think we might. I'm going to do my best to try and weaken up these horsemen. Because he might not even be willing to peace out anyway. Is it worth the risk? I think we should peace out for now. 
We can always do another war later on. No, nope, we can't peace out, so we will continue to fight him then. So that's made the decision easy for us. Choose a production. Newcastle is going to start working on its ancient walls. We need to have the uh, the protection over here. Uh, we might as well start working on the monument. There's not a great deal else we can do. Now, what's he going to do with these horsemen is the question. Scythia actually likes the fact that we've been getting rid of the barbarians, which is good. You're actually just straight up attacking my units. So we might lose an, an archer. Oh, we did. We lost an archer there. Ouch. Well, that hurt. So he's took a promotion, and there we go. We've got a lot of units coming in now. So we need to try and deal with these guys. So, deal with them we will. Really? You cannot reach from there? Because you'd have to move on to a hill. Let's put you in the city. Now you can reach. You need to heal up. Actually, you've got a promotion. So we'll just go and give you Battle Cry. That'll give you an instant heal. Um, you got a promotion as well, but we'll save that in case you take any damage on the next turn. So there's one of their units dead. They've still got an injured one and two full health ones. You're not really in a position to do much. Can't really move you anywhere where you can either. So we'll keep having a look over here. We still see we've got barbarians around with a fair few scouts as well. Not too sure what I'm going to do with that settler yet. Might be worth coming down here and starting one on the coast. We'd be able to get the spices. It's not exactly safe, but we'll try and get over here and, and, and settle on the coast here. One, two... Uh, we settle on the marsh. One, two... One, two, three. We'd have another source of iron we could grab. So I think I might settle on this marsh. Really should escort him, but... England moving around with a lot of units now. You're actually just straight up attacking the city. Wow, that's interesting. Now, they don't have enough to take the city then, but they might do on the next turn. So we've got to be really careful about this. Right, now we search the wheel. So before we do anything else, let's see what we can do about clearing up these units. See, a lot of these units could directly attack the city. You've got a promotion, but if I use it, I can't attack with you. You can attack here. Yeah, it's not going to be enough. We could just lose the city here if we're not careful. Can we peace out yet? We cannot. That is annoying. Um, can we get war elephants yet? Can we just purchase one and how much are they? They're 480 gold. Doesn't actually require horses either, but we're a long way off. We don't have enough money to get one of those. Um, let's start working on iron working so we can get swordsmen. You might as well work on the library so we can get up in some tech. Let's just start killing off these easy scouts. So with you, I think I'm going to back off and um, give you zone of control. That gives you almost a full heal. As for you, not the settler, I'm going to move you onto the hill. I can't attack with you from there, which is quite annoying. Right, we want you to get over there on the march. Marsh. Hopefully you'll just get over there and I won't need to escort you. Can't really do an awful lot with this warrior right now. Can't even put him in the city. We'll try and sort of skirt around the outside if we can. He might actually be able to take the city here, which would be really disappointing if he does. We also might lose this um, archer unit, but I'd sooner him attack that than try and take the city. So it's just these combat bonuses that the AI gets on the high difficulty levels is really, really ridiculous. But the city does survive for another turn. So let's start attacking these units then. I mean, it's not like we can peace out, so... I'm 
going to retreat a little bit with this settler because I'm a little bit concerned about for him, really. And we'll move up here with this warrior. And uh, we've got another barbarian here that we can take out. And um, Scythia's probably going to end up clearing that camp, which I don't even mind all that much. I'd just be happy for it to be gone, to be honest. You are attacking the warrior. Wow, look how many horsemen he's got. He's got battering rams. He's got two more horsemen over here. So you need to put in a full volley. You need to put in a full volley. That's going to hurt, but we really need to get some of these horsemen killed off. You can't even reach these units currently. So that's unfortunate. Right, most of those horsemen are gone now. So let's see if we can get back over there again. Oh no, there's still one over here. Flip, I didn't see that one. So we've lost a settler now. Great. Um, let's do as much damage as we can to the spearmen. So yeah, you can't really hit anything, which is unfortunate. Hmm. Guess you're just 45 for now. On to the next turn then and we see what happens. Not sure if England is still at war with Russia actually. I didn't check. I'm actually attacking Newcastle now. We could lose Newcastle here. They've got a lot of units around it. It's killed my warrior off. At least he didn't go for the settler but... Well, if we don't kill off some of these units or we don't get to peace out here, we are definitely going to lose um, Newcastle. Can't believe that didn't even kill him. I mean, that's just absolutely pathetic damage. And again, it's because of those combat bonuses that the AI receives. Not really anything I can do about that. We've got one unit up here, which is really incapable of taking any of these out on his own. This unit has a battering ram, which is going to cause us great problem. Can we peace out yet? We can peace out. Fantastic. Uh, you are going to give me leads. In fact, he won't even peace out. Even if I give him money, he won't peace out. Well, this could be the sh one of the um, shortest plays of Civilization VI that I've done. Because if we lose the city here, then we're really going to be in trouble. Um, you've taken your shot. 14 turns until we get the walls. There's no way to rush that, unfortunately. I can start moving down here with this archer, but he probably isn't going to be all that useful. So, let's see if we lose Newcastle. Oddly enough, he actually just moved his units around and didn't go straight for the cities. I'm surprised by that. That's maybe not a bit of a, a derp on the AI's uh, part. So, let's see if we can at least finish one of these units off. It's better to have um, one full, fully healed unit than two half-dead ones. So, well, at least we did get that one finished off. Extra combat strength when occupying district or fort. It's not going to help all that much. I think I'd sooner give you the range strength. We don't get a shot on that turn, unfortunately, because we did that. And we might even be able to grab that on the next turn, although I think Scythia's uh, horse archers are going to move in there and nab it, to be honest. Uh, unit that needs orders. Yeah, I want to keep moving you down. and just need the extra archers down here. I don't think the barbarians are the problem right now. So you're actually moving towards my capital, interestingly enough. And these horse units really are attempting to thin out my um, my archers. You do get a promotion, so let's go ahead and give it to you. You've got a promotion waiting as well, but we need to sort of clear out these units. If he wants to continue heading up towards my capital, that's fine, because we can defend it. In fact, I can move there and take a shot at you straight away. Oh, he's got catapults up there and everything. Interesting. 
Uh, we can nab that as well. I'm going to grab it while I'm up here. Might as well. Because I can't believe Scythia didn't. Will he accept... Right, is he still at war with England? He's not. Will he accept a peace deal yet? He still won't. Not even for a luxury. Even if I offer him two cities, he won't peace out. The AI is really relentless at the moment. Well, let's see what happens then. I've got a feeling we might need to get another few units out. Yes, we do occupy one of your cities. In fact, we occupy two. Yeah, you're attacking that archer now. Unless horsemen can finish you off, unfortunately. Which is exactly... And the catapult's hitting you as well. Um, that's just an archer. It's not Githian. You're attacking this guy. We did take the promotion, so we do survive. Just. Now, you've got a promotion which I'd like to use. You don't have a promotion. You could finish that unit off, so we'll do that. You're going to go ahead and take your promotion now, so you get a, a, a second shot every turn. You're going to go ahead and finish off that guy. I mean, I think we, we have come off second best in this war, but we are sort of... Um, if we start sending units up here, of course, this, our capital can defend itself. Um, this is going to be a city, so let's go ahead and do that. And let's see what we're working. Four food, but we've got no production. I'd sooner go two food and one production, to be honest. So we can get something built and we'll start working on a monument right away. Would love some extra units. I guess we go on to next turn, but I think we do that in the next video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI. Hopefully, we'll be able to get out of this war in the next video. Uh, so until then... Goodbye for now.